Tonight, there are questions about security at an Austin high school after a student was spotted on campus today with what appeared to be a gun. Students at Lanier High School described 45 minutes of panic as they waited for the all clear. Texan's Alex Capriello looks at how the district's police force responded and the training that led up to this moment. I felt like if I got shot, then it would be the last time that I ever got to see my mom. Students at Lanier High School locked the doors and were hushed to silence after Austin ISD learned about a threat on campus. There was a student uh, that flashed or displayed a handgun. The students inside had to trust their school was protecting them. Somebody was going to find us because we we're supposed to be being quiet the whole time. The lights were off and everything and it just made me really nervous. The threat, a fellow student armed with an airsoft gun, was caught by police within the hour. When Chief Gonzalez took over the Austin ISD Police Department, he implemented a new strategic plan which helped streamline the way other law enforcement agencies get involved when there's an emergency. Now we saw that in full effect today. Both APD and their canine units helped track down and find that threat. It's through the coordinated efforts between AISD and APD that we were able to capture the suspect very quickly. The district has fully prepared for these situations. It was over one year ago when the state awarded it over $40,000 for ballistic vests. And the police chief acknowledges traumatic events of the past, like the suicide on campus back in October 2013, are learning moments for the entire staff. We train for this. We try to train the staff uh, for this event to minimize impact on the school uh, and, as, and, and maximize safety for, for everyone involved. In Austin, Alex Capriello, KXAN News. And the students we spoke to said that the school did a good job today, but they think more should be done to keep everyone safe. They think they say that they'd like to see a bigger police presence, more patrols through the halls, and even suggested all students receive pat downs. Police say the student caught with the airsoft gun will likely face felony charges. To give you a better idea on how an airsoft gun can look like a real gun, take a look at this picture. On the bottom left is the uh, Colt M 1911 handgun. On the top right there is the airsoft gun 12 year old Tamir Rice was holding when an officer shot and killed him in 2014. This photograph was used as part of a grand jury trial that declined to bring criminal charges against the police officer.